I found this in my living room. Oh, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Opinion, where or are you more concerned or stressed or care about? The audience, the fans of Ghostbusters or your fathers? Oh, huh. that's a really hard question to answer um, because they were both on my mind throughout making the film. The audience was always on my mind, but my father was actually sitting next to me on set. So first I would look to him and then I would think about the audience. And um, you have a great career directing independent films. Why did you decide you wanted to go for a big, this blockbuster that means so much to everyone? I feel like Ghostbusters has been in my family as long as I can remember. I was six years old on the set of Ghostbusters back in 1983. It's almost been waiting for me, uh, an intimidating dragon. Uh, but I finally developed the courage, and it's been the adventure of a lifetime making this movie with my father. Well, I was actually going to ask you, we all have a memory regarding Ghostbusters, whether it's watching the movie or a toy from the movie. What is your most vivid memory of Ghostbusters from when you were a child? Great question. I remember being on set as a kid when they dumped a huge bag of shaving cream on the actor William Atherton to represent the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man melting. And I kept a piece of the, the, the dried up shaving cream on my shelf in my bedroom as a kid. What has changed in you um, by doing Ghostbusters Legacy? You know, I had an amazing moment when I was at Comic-Con recently where I realized that being at Comic-Con was very similar to being at Sundance, that to make a movie like Ghostbusters is not unlike making a movie like Juno. Uh, when you are with people who love movies, there are different ways into their hearts, and it made me feel like I could make all kinds of movies. Um, I heard or I read once that when you told your father that you wanted to do Ghostbusters Legacy, uh, you told him a story about why you wanted to do it. Could you share that story with us? You know, uh, when I originally pitched the story of Ghostbusters Legacy, it was a very big moment for my family. My father cried and he told me that it was time for me to tell this story and it was time for me to take on the family business. And I'm just lucky that Sony supported this concept and that we got to make the story that was in my heart. Jason, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you all of the last children from the 80s. We are very excited and we are ah, very happy. <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> so it. So thank you. Oh my gosh, that is the best thing I've ever seen.